thinking of moving to Santa Barbara and you don't know what schools rank at the top, this video is for you. I want to dive deep, break down the top rated schools in Santa Barbara, Goleta and beyond. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Avi. I'm a local realtor right here in Santa Barbara. And for almost the past four years, I've been helping buyers move from out of town and relocate and decide what the best situation is for them. Um, and a lot of times it's really important to make sure that their kids are gonna be going to a great school. And one of the great things about living in Santa Barbara is we have a plethora of super highly ranked public schools and private schools. And that's a huge drawing point for our community. So I wanted to talk about what gets the highest rankings, talk about this, the maps and the different locations for the different schools, and maybe just answer some common questions that you might be having if you're thinking of moving here. So I'm gonna be using two websites, um, greatschools.org as well as niche.com. So let's dive in and see what they they have to say. So for greatschools.org, um, at the very top is Cold Spring Elementary School. That's in Montecito. Um, as well in Montecito, you have Montecito Union. Those are both ranked 9 out of 10 on this website. Both really highly regarded schools, both public schools as well in Montecito. You'll also see you have Mountain View. That's towards Goleta, and that one gets a 9 out of 10 as well. Super highly ranked. Um, Foothill is another really top, top ranked elementary school. A lot of my clients go to Foothill, and that's in Goleta as well. They get a rank of 8 out of 10. As we continue to move down, we'll have Franklin um, Elementary, which is kind of on the east side downtown and Washington. Washington is on the Mesa. That's a very top ranked elementary school as well. Those are kind of the top, I would say five, you know, per this rating, it's I guess six. But I'll break down where those are in the map as well so you can see the location. And those are kind of the top ranked elementary schools. And the thing to keep in mind is from what I understand, you know, it's not an end all be all, but it is more difficult um, being in elementary school to try to open enroll and move to other schools you know they accept what's in the district um, but also schools like Peabody which is a charter is, is a lottery system so if you're in the district it's much more feasible to go to the elementary school and if you live outside the district but you still really love the school and want to get your um, kid in there it's possible but it's not automatic so that's a good thing to keep in mind as well um, and I'm going to show you right now the uh, school districts and the map uh, the attendance district so this one's for all of Santa Barbara you'll see that it's interesting the Washington School District right here is yellow um, and they basically can take part of downtown as well as the East Mesa and the East Mesa is kind of split up by Cliff or sorry by um, Megs which then runs into Cliff Carrillo turns into Megs and runs into Cliff and then if you're on the west part of the Mesa you're gonna be in um, Monroe um, school and obviously moving into the west side they're in Harding and then that moves over to um, Adams School District up in the Riviera you're either going to be in Cleveland or Roosevelt and as you move into San Roque um, the Peabody School District is there as well as Monta Vista and Hope so kind of depending on where you want to live the price points are different obviously if you're in Montecito the price points are higher and there's Montecino and Cold Spring um, but if you live downtown, you're either going to be going to Monroe or Washington or McKinley. And this section here on the, on the East Mesa, we sell a lot of homes there. It's a, it's a high price point. The average price point for a single family home now is north of $2 million. But the great thing is you get to go to an amazing school and it's not a private school. And the kids love it and the parents love it. So it's very highly ranked. So now looking at the next website, niche.com. They're going to rank the top school as Laguna Blanca, but Laguna Blanca is a private school um, and this says it's ranked 315 in, the, in all of the U.S. Um, and it's K through 12. It's a private school in Hope Ranch, which is a very high-end um, exclusive part of Santa Barbara. It goes, runs all the way kind of where, into the beach. Um, it's a very, very upscale, beautiful community, amazing houses big lots, private beach access, and so that's one thing to consider too. If you wanted to go that route and go into a private school, um, Hope Ranch is a great community with the school right in the community. Um, this ranks Montecito Union and Cold Spring right below that. And then um, below that, they're going to rank Washington Elementary, they have Carpentry in there, and then Monta Vista, 
um, and then it goes into Isla Vista and Kellogg. Isla Vista and Kellogg are both in Goleta as well, and they get an A minus overall niche grade from this um, website as well. And also, this website has the student to teacher ratio, um, and that's interesting. This website ranks those two above Mountain View, you know. So I mean, the websites differ and vary. You know, it's not all an end all be all. They kind of have different takes on each one. Um, let's take a look at some others. So there's also Hope Elementary School, kind of Upper State Street area, Hollister Elementary School, Adams Elementary is ranked here as a B plus, Franklin is ranked as a B plus, um, Roosevelt is a B plus as well. So all of the rankings in Santa Barbara are pretty high overall. Um, you know, you don't even really get many below the grade of B minus. So that's something, you know, definitely to consider is, you know, even the schools that aren't ranked maybe as high, when you look at it as like a nationwide perspective, the schools rank incredibly well here in Santa Barbara. Be sure to bring up and talk about the map for the Glita schools. And you know, even though Glita is a smaller population than Santa Barbara proper, about 30,000 plus current residents, plus it's close to the university, the schools are fantastic. I have a bunch of content on my YouTube about what it's like living in Glita. I also have content on my YouTube about what it's like living downtown and other neighborhoods of Santa Barbara as well. But check out the Glita map it's a little bit interesting how you'll see the different splits and the different areas you know where Mountain View and then there's a section of foothill and then it goes back to Mountain View it's really important to know if you're buying a home in the community um, what section are you in if you're really set on going to a certain school all of these schools overall have a very high ranking but in just at the very top, you have Mountain View and Foothill ranked towards the the, um, the the top of the list. So, you know, and those kind of intersecting schools right there. But really great rankings, and um, my clients who live there, their kids, I haven't had, you know, really one major terrible complaint where someone pulls their kid out of a Goleta school because it's not up to their standards. So, just something to consider. So this video was focused on elementary schools, and when it comes to middle school and high school, to my understanding, it's much easier to open enroll. There's less options to choose from. You know, here we only basically have three public high schools. That's Dos Pueblos, which is out in North Goleta, San Marcos, which is kind of on the border of Santa Barbara and Goleta, more of South Goleta, and then Santa Barbara High right downtown. Um, but those high schools all have different strengths, weaknesses, certain sports they're better at. But if you're moving from out of town and school is really important to you, my recommendation is make sure you work with a realtor that really understands Santa Barbara, knows the ins and outs of different school districts, different neighborhoods. And if you just have questions, you want to chat with me, I have a Calendly link below in the comments. If you want to pick my brain about different schools, talk about making your move to Santa Barbara as easy as possible, please feel free to reach out to me anytime, guys. So appreciate you watching the video. Till next one, I'll see you then. Bye.